Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm doing my Yamaha picture and today I want to do the engine. So, got my fine liner pen here. And let's get cracking. So I'm going to do the bottom frame of the chassis first. It does curl round at the bottom, so I'll use my French curve for that. Okay, that's quite a few complicated components. So there's a cool little shape here. I need to learn more about more bike engines to know all the different anatomy and all the components and that to it. And this comes around here. I just do this edge as well, just give me a bit of reference. So let's just curl this round. And just a little bit here, like so. So just building up all these little shapes here and there, just quite complicated. I'll just break it down, do the outlines first, then work all the details on the inside. So this outline here, then this comes down. Slowly building all these little lines. And there is going to be some darker than others, so some areas will pop up more. Okay. I'm going to do the rear section now, the engine. Gonna bring this round. Okay. And just 
a few more little circles in here. Okay, so I think that's all the lines for the engine bay. Now we need to pull some things back and push some things forward. We do this by doing a layer of markers, make some things lighter and some things darker and stuff. So this is going to be a different shade of grey. Okay guys, you can see I've just applied all the different uh, markers there and you can see I've pulled back some of the chassis here, the dark areas and then the light areas have gone right down to even a few blues so yeah, it looks good Now I need to just pull some of those a bit forward a bit more and use my Posca marker here If it does work Oop, There we are Oops, Along there before when I used the markers I can still all the different uh, white areas so I can leave the hurry, it's just to the very end. Okay, now I've done the top layer, so I've nice pulled out all those different areas. I'm gonna get my uh, fine line pen and then just make some of these edges just a bit sharper with the white so where it ends it just goes into a point and just create a nice contrast with the black and white Okay guys, we've just been playing there with a bit more markers just to try and push and pull some things and blend some more of that white posca in just because I felt like I had a bit too much there. And I've left a little bit just in the centre, but now it's, uh, it's quite a nice effect. Makes the greys a little bit lighter. Okay guys, I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.